guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 with your boy Kyle Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. We're cracking on with the epilogue of this game, playing as John, if you didn't know. Abigail has a quest for us, we're going to see what it is and take care of it promptly. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe... We could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just... Feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in. Your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the... Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? Be careful on this. You telling me I to like be careful? House, pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Your Ma was wrong about that. Here, want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and. Pull him short to slow down. Tell him to go faster. Give him a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. Let's see what we got. Uh oh, boy! <laughs> you know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with. There the we go, rectified. With the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Better than me, for sure. No, no, yeah. 
I can't resist. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. Want a magazine, a comic, okay. a novella, something? And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Oh wow! Hey. I said, hey. Um. Yo, what the f? Hi. I'm here. To name? My name? Um. Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try. Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Uh oh. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. I don't like this. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes. Here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. I don't think we're going to have a smooth exit. Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. You saw me okay, fuck Pa. up like two minutes ago. It's cool. Go. Going back to Pronghorn, okay? So wait, we've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I think before. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon. I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. I don't have any guns on me, right? Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Get away from there. Okay. Pia. Maybe we shouldn't speed up with a turn coming up. Are you doing well? Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. I don't like that. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. We're being tailed. Yeah. Slow it down. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa. Is somebody back there? Yep. Just keep driving. Actually, you know what? Faster. Yes, sir. Yeah. I could like get off and talk to him. Have you seen something? You worry about what's in front of us. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. Yeah. I think the horse is getting skittish. 
You'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. We're gonna have a shootout here. tree when we get there stop the wagon jump down and hide oh pa you need to do exactly as i say boy here now uh, come on quick now okay son you wait here you don't move or say nothing until i speak to you you hear yes sir head down Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. Let's play. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. What of it? Come here, partner. We don't mean no trouble. I hope not. I'm just a farmer, friend, and... I don't have no money all You're talking bullshit, mister. Come on, fucking Eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. You okay? Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look. Oh boy. dear. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. So Wait. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. Real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. Come on, breathe. Hey, uh, you got this, you Jack. Know, Mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Peacher's Hole. That's right. Peacher's Hole. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore. Horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Come on, kid. Better snap out of it before your mom kills us both. Oh, he's scarred, all right. Little fella's traumatized. Jesus Christ, horse. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Could say that. Say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... <laughs> we got shot at. Shot at? What happened? 
Well, we got followed, and then we... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. There was no choice. What could I have done? Your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you. Over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you Well, want? shit. I have no idea. <laughs> but I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. And so it begins, huh? Yo, want to give me my shit? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. She's gonna be thrilled at the idea. Abigail. Really? Oh no, what? Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. They wrote Listen, John? I have begged you. But it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you, part of you is hellbent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Well, see the Adler it is then. Let's go visit her, man. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? None of your fucking business. Who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. 
Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. All right. Let's take care of these exes. So how far away is that joint? Okay, let's take care of these first then. Shoveling shit, my go-to. Take it. Fucking put it in, bro. Jesus. Look. There you go. Finally. Okay. Done. months later but that's her fool hey you know I was wrong about you turned into a fine worker Jim Milton oh thank you it means a lot hey you think I could speak with mr. Geddes see if maybe he's open to offer me some guidance no, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least thank you mr. Dickens All right, let's go talk to him. Ah! Don't leave that gun out and about like that. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure, I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. Turned away Maybe real you quick. Could Go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. 
Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. That's a W right there. Finally. Sadie Adler? We could do that? Oh man. No, I don't want the fucking weapon, mate. Fuck off. How many? Let's try it again. Alright, so. Ansel Atherton. In Blackwater, you say shit. No kidding. Shall we go see Sadie, though? I mean, it's closer, I think. It's I think it's closer. I'm not sure. You out of your damn mind? Yup. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to. Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? <laughs> Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You. You killed Feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from was... New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Hello there. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Ah, oh, I don't want to ride no more. <laughs> Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long.
All right, see what you can find. Like I said, the fellow's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit him that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. All right. Maybe you know. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay. Welcome Center. See what we get. This is the welcome center. He's staying in the welcome center. What now? You head in there and flush him out. Flush him out. You uh you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he Are you him? He's uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. So you've said. How exciting. Room three. One, two, and the third one. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I... Oh, stop. Hey, that's Did Nathan you just... Kirk. That's Nathan Kirk. Sadie. Oh, got him. Oh, shut up. Does it look like... Come on, jump out. Oh, shit. The fucking bed. Damn, they killed myself. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. All right. No shit. Stay on us. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. This is gonna hurt. You carry on. Damn, I missed the luminary. Nathaniel Kirk! Stop! <laughs> you ain't wrong. You're back. Almost had it. Yeah, monsters! Monsters! Can I? Nope. I'm gonna run out of stamina. Then come on and talk to us. What is wrong with you people? So much you wouldn't even know. That being said, come here. Got you now. Please don't. What? There you go. What you got there? Get off me! I don't deserve this treatment. Hey, 
Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Please, no! Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. All right, good. So, Let's go, girl. we are going to call it an episode, but next episode we are going to go head on over to Blackwater and start the quest down there. Until then, though, it's been your boy Cargo Gaming. I'm out of here. Love y'all and deuces.